industry the result of this fruit-bearing collaboration between like-minded corporations that make America great. On behalf of everyone here at vault -Tec, welcome. Let's call this what it is, bud. Your sales aren't up to snuff, and you need money. You're one to talk, Freddy boy. You could lose money running a casino. <laughs> <laughs> Our sales are fine. Sure, rumors of the peace negotiations have set us back a bit, but we're here to offer you an opportunity. We'd like to collaborate on some of our vaults. I, I don't get the vaults, but it's time to come out. What if people are still alive on the surface? There'll be Stone Age creatures probably eat whoever steps out of your vaults. That is an initiative. Our vaults have the resources to survive for centuries. Meanwhile, our competitors, you know, every other human who isn't us, will be dead on the surface. Because after all, what is the ultimate weapon of mass destruction? Time. Time. Time is the apex predator. And in the event of an incident, time is the weapon with which we will defeat all of our enemies. That is how we will win the great game of capitalism, not by outfighting anyone, but by outliving them. Even if you outlive all external threats, here's my problem with the vaults. You can find a bunch of rats in a nest for a long time. They end up eating each other. So who's to say your rats are going to survive better than those animals on the surface? And you still haven't addressed well, the fundamental short question. I, I don't need rats so no, on the surface. No, no, you can see people at the numbers. <laughs> Problem. No, 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 no. If I could perhaps refocus the conversation. Come on, Barb. Set them straight. When I think about the future, I think about my daughter, Janie. How do I provide her with a better future? That's what we've invited you here to discuss. Yes. And how do we design our vault society so our children have that better future. I suggest we hedge our bets.